Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to show you how to work with cam connection, friction and definition of the dynamic preferences. Let's start. We will apply into assembly new component and the new component will be for example this simple object and we will use the planar connection because we would like to align these two faces and set for example distance that we would like to offset it a little bit yeah so we'll be fine something like this and you can move with the object directly here where you make the component placement or you can finish and drag components right now so it's up to you so you can specify the placement and then you can create a new snapshot if you will create new snapshot it's possible to rename yeah for example star 2 and if I come from OK and close now if you will for example drag to another placement position and you will use the star 2 the system will jump automatically where you need we will jump into application and mechanism and in the mechanism we would like to add cam connection the cam connection will be automatic selection for cylindrical surfaces you don't need to select both of them if you come from OK you can select the second part of the cam connection and will be necessary surfaces you see that right now if I will jump here maybe I will touch the surface so I will select for cam connection this surface too OK some preferences I'd like to explain to you what does it mean lift off so we will specify for now 0.3 for example and if you come from OK we'll define the additional preferences what we need to check is the gravity so if you will select the definition the system will show you the gravity you can specify the magnitude and same you can do for the additional preferences for example initial condition where we would like to start and I'd like to start directly from the snapshot star 2 so I will come from OK and then we would like to create new analysis the new analysis will be definite as the dynamic type and duration for example 40 second and you can specify frame rate 25 15 30 60 it's up to you it's uh, regarding the final result frame per second what will be visualized I'd like to start with the initial state initial condition one what we have defined minutes ago and into external load you would like to enable gravity and friction if I will run you can see that object somehow bounce yeah and we can see one more time in the previous analysis I will run and I'd like to show you here if I will run a speed a little bit and you see this object is falling and then bouncing one two and right now we didn't specify the friction but I'd like to explain to you the bouncing on lift off so I will use the dragger this one we don't need and I will jump here and again and explain to you what does it mean if I will change the cam connection and in the cam connection I will change the lift off so properties and we would like to change for example 0 0.8 yeah and we will run analysis one more time yeah and have a look how it's bouncing bing bing yeah perfect so it was another explanation that if you will run the if you will change the liftoff the system will bounce more so it's about the bouncing maybe we can jump back to 0 0.3 and we don't need to bounce our object so much only as a little and I'd like to enable friction you have to specify two friction static friction and kinetic friction and static friction is always higher 
So for example, 0 0.6 and 0 0.5, yeah? If you would like to know more regarding the friction and the logic, please check the internet or over here is the really quick explanation that why is the static friction much higher like the kinetic because you can see here if you would like to move with the object and the object is static and you need to push for example 50 newtons and the friction is 0 0.5 yeah you need you will go here and then if you would like to move the kinetic friction will be applied and going down yes yeah? so kinetic friction is less and static friction is used if you need to move the component so we would like to push and the system will do a friction resistance and then if you will move with the components the st static friction is not appear anymore and then is the kinetic friction and kinetic friction is for move the parts yes yeah, simply explanation i hope so and it's good enough so this is why you have a less value for the kinetic friction okay good and we will go back with our start and right now i will run analyze again and you can see right now that system will use the friction yeah and the object didn't fall down yeah and again if you would like to play with this information go into properties tab and change the friction and for example specify 0 0.9 and we can try to 0 0.7 for example yeah and okay and i will run one more time and you will see ah yeah <laughs> i have to specify the additional value sorry so it's regarding the value what we will use so for example it will be better to specify 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 yeah something lower and we will see nah yeah, it was really nice yeah you can see right now how the system move objects okay great so it was explanation how to use the friction how it's possible to define and change the friction for the camp connection and then you can run your analysis one more time you can have a look how the friction works and over there is really nice slide yeah great i think that is really really nice animation and a really good explanation how it's possible to change the friction and how the system calculate and apply friction with creo parametric i hope so that you like this example leave me a comment likes or id for any of the tutorials donate me or buy me a coffee thank you and bye bye vladimir